the oldest pack I've got is a 1991 score. So it's 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 before you were in the big leagues. Uh, and yeah. Actually, this is when you were in, in college still. But uh, this should probably have some guys that you've probably played with or, you know, know or have met. So if you like, this is a, a part of the time, uh, a part of the show that we call Wax Packs Heroes. And uh, we're going to go ahead and open this pack up. And if you've got anything to tell us about any of these players, that's great. Um, and we'll total this up using our 1992 uh, <laughs> Beckett's. So we've got some value to it. We do have a couple of extra rules, though. Um, okay. If any of these players are wearing a mustache, you get an extra cent. Because that was oh. a thing in, in the late 80s, early 90s. Everyone seemed to have a mustache. Uh, sure. If we can see that you're wearing real stirrups, you get an extra cent. Uh, if they're wearing the two-in-one stirrups, though, it's a minus a cent. And then finally, if uh, they're a Hall of Famer, you get an extra five cents. So it, it it helps us build that value up a little bit because we're not getting rich off these cards. <laughs> so let's uh, let me go ahead and grab this pack and uh, we'll see what we get. Fire away! Give me some. I need some Pacheco's. I need some wires. Yeah. So this set. Uh, the, the the 91 score there is a Conseco in here that is a uh, dollar 25 which is the yeah. big card in this set well there's a yeah. Griffey Jr a special Griffey that's 225 Ooh. but um, I, I I would be surprised if we pull any of those but let's see what we no. get not gonna happen with my luck dude. I'm gonna get like <laughs> <laughs> well here you're gonna start off with a good uh, good pitcher for the Braves right hander Ken Merker <laughs> Kent, Kent Merker. Kent Merker. Oh, yeah. Did I say Ken? I'm yeah. sorry. Kent, That's Kent Merker. Kent was left-handed, wasn't he? Lefty Correct. with the Braves. Yeah, he was around when I – he was around for the Braves for a long time. Um, yeah. I met him at a golf tournament. Did not face him and did not play against him, but I met him at, a, at the the local golf tournament down in Atlanta one year. Good dude. Super cool. Yeah. cool. Well – He's he's not going to help you out here though. His card is not worth anything, and I hate to say this, but he's wearing two and ones, so that's actually a minus one cent. Here. <laughs> but since we're just starting out, I'm uh, we'll, we'll look we'll we'll look past it because we don't want to go into the negatives. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I got I to tell you that my like stories at least got me like you know some of the funny stories I said. I've got at least got to keep me positive. <laughs> uh, next we've got. Yeah, well, it's only one card here. Next, we've got first baseman DH for the Baltimore Orioles, Randy Milligan. Randy nope. Milligan. Don't know Randy. Heard of him. Don't know him. Yeah, I remember he's just, uh, he's a big power guy. Kind of your typical DH. Yeah. Uh, he does have a mustache there, so that is going to get you on the board. Oh, man. That's... One, one cent. <laughs> Uh, this is a guy we've, well, Mark and I both have some stories about uh, this guy that's kind of embarrassing for both of us. But at this point, Cleveland Indians legend Keith Hernandez. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh Keith. The old, the old St. Louis uh, first base. I, now, I saw him in the clubhouse. Um, I think he was working for TV. If I'm mistaken, I think he had jumped in with the Mets. Yes. Yep, he, so I, I, yep. I had met him, but I, again, never played it against him, but I, I, I have met him. Yeah, I had, a, I had a bit of a run-in with him last year that's pretty amusing. <laughs> oh boy! Oh, oh boy! I I likewise have embarrassed myself in front of him. Uh, both both Mark and I have. Mark still does work for the Mariners, so we we are on the oh, broadcast okay. uh, level, and uh, we've both uh, had some experiences with Keith. Um, I really don't remember him playing for the Indians at any point. Obviously, this is the end of his career, but uh, he's got a mustache as usual. He's definitely got real stirrups. That's that's yeah. the points. And, Dude, I'm uh, adding them up now, bro. Let's go. Yeah, look out. <laughs> the card, though, is not worth anything uh, beyond yeah. that. But that's that does bring your total up to three cents. All right. Uh, now, here you've got a Hall of Famer. So this is good news for you. He's got a mustache and he's got real stirrups. So that's good right off the bat. Yeah. It is Dave Winfield. Ooh. Oh, I mean. That's yeah. five points. Mr. Padre, I mean, come on, dude, besides Tony Gwynn, <laughs> that guy. Um, I, again, didn't play against Dave Winfield. He was done by the time I broke in. 
um, they had, um, I want to call it Old Timers Day, so we'll just call it Old Timers Day. But, Veterans uh, back, Day. Veterans Day, thank you. Back in Yankee Stadium when I was there in 98, he was there. And I could not believe how big he was. Um, yeah. And he knew my grandfather. So um, I just I just said, I think you know my grandfather's moving with Jeffrey on. I had a signed autograph baseball from you when I was a kid. Awesome meeting you. And then I just ran off. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I mean, I rem- I ran into him at the airport one time, and you know, I am not a large man, but he just towered yeah. over me. Yeah. But yeah, he's I, a big, Dave, he's a big dude. I love he Dave is. Winfield. So that card is worth three cents, but he's got the mustache and the stirrup, so that's an extra two cents, and he's a Hall of Famer, so that ends up being a ten cent card for Whoa. you right there. Okay, so what's the biggest total? Who's collected the most money so far? So on our list here of guests, it's actually an author that's got a book that just came out. His name is Brad Belukjim. And okay. the premise of his book was he opened a pack of 1986 tops and then he went around the country and he went and spoke to everybody that was in that pack. Oh, wow. So he actually brought his own pack of 86 tops and we opened that. And uh, he really, I think it was the Vince Coleman card was his big, did all the damage there. But it was only a dollar and eight cents. So yeah, we're not I dealing with. I got, I got a long way to go. Yeah, but that Winfield, that Winfield got you some points there. Yeah, that's good. I just, I just do the competitive stuff, so. All right, well, you, carry on. Next card. Next, you got, wait, wait. Next. You're not going to throw the cards, are you? <laughs> <laughs> nah, I'm good. Okay. All right, so next we've got, this is uh, one of Mark's favorite players, uh, first baseman for the Houston Astros, Glenn Davis. I love Glenn Davis. Oh, yeah, G. Davis. Done. Back in the day. Right-handed power hitter. Yeah. yeah. He was awesome. Yeah. So, um, no, don't. I remember watching him play. Never met him. Uh, I just remember he was super strong, well-built. Yeah. So that's, that's all I got for it. So this card is a kind of an artsy card. It says Master Blaster. Oh, um, all right. Unfor- unfortunately, not worth anything in Beckett's, but he does have a mustache and he does have stirrups. So that'll give you two cents and bring you up to 15 cents. Uh, this, uh, not a Hall of Famer, but I, this card has got to be great anyway. It is a 1990 highlight card. This guy hit four straight home runs for the Kansas City Royals. It is Bo Jackson. Oh, my God. Um, so met Bo Jackson on his Veterans Day in Kansas City in 1999. He was back when they were doing like the all time greats. Couldn't be a more humble human being. Uh, like amazing guy, amazing guy. Um, yeah, he, I never got to play against him. But, um, yeah, he was. He was like the legend. Yeah, Bo Jackson is is great. So that card is worth four cents. Uh, he does have the real stirrups and he does have the mustache. So uh, Bo that Jackson will get with you the mustache. What? That's what it looks like. Well, you know, yeah, that is kind of weird, isn't it? That's got to just be a shadow. I'm, I, I'm, I gotta you, apologize. I'll take the mustache, bro. No. <laughs> No, I, I, I'm zooming in on it here. So if you're if, if uh, for our, our fans watching on YouTube, uh, that is. Yeah, there is no mustache there. That's just a shadow. I apologize. Right. And I especially right. apologize to Bo because that's and he's card number 420. So he's got that going for him as well uh, there. Right. Right, right, right. Uh, next. Uh, now, we just talked about this guy on, on our last show, catcher for the Blue Jays, who happens to hold the second longest postseason hitting streak of all time. It is Pat Borders. Oh, man. Pat Borders. Um, never met him. Watched him play. Um, guy was an animal. Big shoe. He just got out. <laughs> yes. Like, wore yeah. a mullet. He was a dude. Like, he was a dude. He was. He was a tough guy. Yeah, yeah he, like, he. I remember that his, team. Like, yeah. Uh, Jesse Barfield, Pat Hankin, uh, Kelly Gruber. Um, um, who was it? Uh, was it Juan, so- Juan Sosa? Not Sosa. Uh, George Bell. Had, uh, had George Bell. Lloyd Mosby. Oh my God, uh, Lloyd Dave Mosby. Dave Steve. Yeah. 
Yeah, I mean, that was it. We had McGriff was at McGriff was at first, even, I think, at that point, wasn't he? Was it Vernon Wilson Center? No, that's 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 later. It was uh, I thought I thought Mosby was in center. Mosby was, oh, he was in center. Okay. Yeah, yeah, then he was flanked yeah. by. Bad boy, I know he's got a mustache. And I know. Uh, tell me, he's got. A I I don't see a mustache there. I see the chaw, but I don't see the mustache. Oh. <laughs> you know, he he's one of those guys that his uniform would be dirty before the game because he always had that big, big the yeah, all that chew. On it. Yeah, when he yeah. Dies, man, everywhere. I just uh, my my favorite Pat Border story is just Ricky Henderson running rough shot over him in the in the ninety sure. ALCS and Pat just stopped throwing to second and Ricky would just go in standing up stealing bases because Pat Borders knew he couldn't get him out. Yep. But uh, yeah, Pat Borders is a tough guy. Um, unfortunately, though, that card is not worth anything. But that's a good looking card. He's in the oh. middle of a swing there. All right, well, you'll get at least a, a, a penny out of this one. We got pitcher lefty for the Phillies, Pat Combs. No. Yeah, I, I don't have anything on Pat Combs. Pat Combs. <laughs> what do you play for? The Phillies at this point. Yeah, yeah. I, I, you lost right, me on that sorry, one. Pat. <laughs> uh, you'll get one set, though. He's wearing He is wearing stirrups, so that's good. Uh, this guy we talk about quite a bit. We love telling stories about this guy, First baseman for the Minnesota Twins, Kent Herbeck. Oh, yes. Tyrannosaurus Rex guy. Dude. Yes, yes, exactly. <laughs> uh, I watched him play when I was in high school. I could swing it. He's a big dude, great hand run first base. Um, I met him. What were they doing? We were in Minnesota. Um, I had met him. I think they had a brief reunion, and uh, he and Kirby Puckett were around, and I was like, Kirby Puckett was a dude for me, so I was kind of like in awe. Um, but yeah, got her back. And awesome. Good player. Yep, yeah, good old T-Rex is, uh, I can't, I know he's wearing real stirrups, but I can't see him, and he doesn't have a mustache. And for some reason, Kent Herbeck, especially in 92, is not worth anything. Can you see? That's you think What's we could on, talk the Mythbusters into recreating the Ron Gant dive back to first? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Clearly lifted the leg, but uh, <laughs> I think he still denies it to this day. Yeah. Uh, all right. Now we got a pitcher, uh, a, a brother of a Hall of Famer. It is Ramon Martinez for the Dodgers. Ramon had his say, eh? Yeah, yeah he, was, he was definitely a, a good player. Yeah, he, Just, uh, he was a good pitcher, and he did something to his arm. He, he got hurt. Um, and yeah. then Pedro came along and was like, oh, wow, he's good, too. Yeah. I remember, <laughs> so, I remember him. Mm-hmm. Uh, that card is worth uh, three cents, plus he's got a mustache. Four so cents. that'll that's a four center there. So Ramon Martinez is worth more than Kent Herbeck and Pat. Yeah. Uh, a, Pat a little bigger. What's going on? Uh, next, we've got shortstop for the Kansas City Royals, Kurt Stillwell. Can't say that I've never heard of Kurt. Sorry, Kurt. Stillwell was re- bounced around a lot, if I remember correctly. He was solid middle infielder, but couldn't hit. Yeah, and every I swear every baseball card of his because he was a middle infielder is him jumping over somebody to turn a double play, <laughs> and it's no different here. It's a great card. He he takes great cards. That's his but, uh, speciality was jumping over players while turning a double play. That must be so. No value, but he does have real stirrups, so you will get one cent there. Now I I will tell you in our top ten list, the number ten at the bottom is Mariners PA announcer Tom Hudler with thirty four. So you got eight cents to break the top ten here, uh, and you've got five cards left to do it. Let's do it. Um, another Astro, another guy that uh, would put up some good uh, some good power numbers. Glenn Wilson. Oh, Glenn Wilson, yeah. Oh, huh. nope, not familiar. Mustache. Sorry. Yep, definitely has a mustache. Salvage one point there, Shane. Um, yeah, good but job. Bro. Appreciate you. Apparently, the Astros uh, in the '91 season were going crazy with the two-in-one stirrups, though. Oh no! 
Yeah, because that's going to wipe it out there for Glenn. Or maybe it's just if you're named Glenn and you're on the Astros, you wear the two and ones. But uh, yeah, so unfortunately, that one's not worth anything. Uh, Next is another Astro, again, wearing the two and ones. (laughs) But you might get some value from the card alone here. It is Ken Caminiti. Oh, Oh one of my all time favorites. Oh, my God. Dude. Hey, I get, do I get points because I know him? Like, I'm in? Like, this is, Let, this let's, is one of, this is one of my guys. If you've got a story, guys. let's see. Yeah, let, let, let's hear a story. Okay, so Ken Caminiti is with the San Diego Padres. He and Greg Vaughn are, like, super great. They're boys, right? Caminiti is driving from San Diego to spring training on his, his motorbike. It breaks down halfway between, between Yuma and... Oh boy! He calls his <laughs> wife and says, "Call a tow truck." Greg Vaughn happens to be driving by in his car, picks him up, and takes him the rest of the way. He left his motorcycle on the side of the road. <laughs> <laughs> but and between Yuma and Phoenix, I, I lived in I lived in Arizona for a while. There's not a whole lot going on there. There's nothing. There's nothing there. So and then Caminiti. I'd watch him hit during BP in the beginning, early days of spring training before the game, and he just had this big goatee, and he was just scary. But he was the nicest man I'd ever – he was always like, Shane, what's up, bro? How are you? Uh, good dude. Great dude. So that's my story. Great guy. Yeah. Oh, that's- the time I spent with Caminiti, not very much, but boy, was he a sweet guy. Just a he, nice guy. He, 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 yeah, I asked him to sign up. Yeah, very soft-spoken. I asked him to sign a couple of baseballs. He goes, let me put my stuff in my locker, then I'll come back out and sign. And he went inside, and I went, yeah, well, I fell for that one again. Nope, door opens up. There he is. What you need me to sign, son? Yep. Great guy. Yep. A good dude. Yep, very good dude. Um, unfortunately, though, <laughs> I don't know what's going on with score on this year, but that card is not listed in Beckett. Um, and he oh. does have – he has those those two and ones at the Astros. It's like banging garbage cans uh, in the, in '91. The Astros just all wore stirrups, unfortunately. But uh, so that's going to be a minus one set, I'm afraid. Oh. Uh, next, this is one of my, our favorite guys, uh, a former Marine, now a manager in Korea for the uh, Kia, uh, what I the Kia Tigers. I. For some reason, I've forgotten what Kia is. Uh, but last year was the third base coach for the A's. It is Matt Williams with the Giants. Oh, yeah. Matt Williams. Like, World Series legend. I mean, that's right. Um, totally remember him. I met him in spring training, shook his hand, talked about Will Clark, who is my one of my top three all time favorite players. Talked nice. about Will Clark like it's religion. But yeah, Matt Williams, great guy. Great guy. Yeah. Yeah, I'm. I'm a. I, I growing up. I'm an A's fan. I'm a big A's fan. So I growing up wasn't a big fan uh, of because he was on the Giants. But ever since uh, since you know I've become smarter. <laughs> he is a great guy, a former Marine, smart baseball guy, a great fielder. I mean, he won a ton of Gold Gloves. Absolutely. Um, when did you yeah. become smarter? Yeah, well, relatively smarter. We'll just say that. But uh, <laughs> that card is that card is worth three cents. So that'll that'll bump you oh. up to twenty eight cents. God, did I, have, I, have I broken the top ten yet? Am I in? No, thirty four is is the top ten, oh. and you're at twenty eight with two cards left here. Okay, you got a I shot. A Come on, Shane. <laughs> so this is not a big card, but I loved this guy. Uh, I loved him when he was at the Yankees, in particularly. Uh, here he's with the Padres, third baseman Mike Palerulo. Palerulo. Oh, yeah. Pags. Yes. The Italian yep. left-handed swinger. That's right. Yep. Absolutely. Absolutely. I don't have a story about him, but I, I remember playing him in uh, whipple ball in my backyard. No kidding. <laughs> yeah, it was him and Mattingly. And, I mean, I hit left-handed, so oh, I yeah, see Pags is one of my guys. I see. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> so Peg's card's not worth anything, but he's got a mustache as always, and he's definitely got real stirrups. So Yikes. that'll bring you up to thirty cents. Thirty cents. Moving oh, into your need, your final card. We need how much to to not have last place? Four cents to tie with Tom. Okay, we need a five cent card. Here. Still a Hall of Famer. And, yeah. Now I I'm, I'm going to tell you, <laughs> it's Hubie Brooks with the well, with the L.A. Dodgers. Well, he's in the Hall, right? Hubie, Hubie Brooks finished. <laughs> Hubie Brooks finished with uh, the Indians. Yeah, I remember I Hubie, Hubie Brooks. Brooks. 
He was on, I remember on the Expos as well. I think he kind of played Actually, everywhere. I met Phoebe Brooks when I was a kid. My grandfather, obviously playing for the Montreal Canadiens, had huge ties to the Expos. And I believe I met him in Montreal when he was up there. Super good guy. Nice. Nice guy. Well, Phoebe unfortunately, Brooks. that... That card is not worth anything. <laughs> and no mustache to speak of or, or stirrups that we can see. So that'll bring your final total. It's a respectable 30 cents. I mean, when we open yeah. these packs, that's about average. So it's, uh, it's, it's a respectable total. But more than that, we just enjoy hearing people that, that know these guys on these cards. It's a lot of fun sure. to, to open these. And uh, then we, we send these cards to charity uh, that then distributes them to kids to get them interested in baseball. So, um, Shane, thank you so much for joining us. This was so much fun. Uh, I can hear people taking some cuts back there. Do you want to tell everybody uh, about your your, uh, hitting academy? Yeah. So um, early March, I just opened up a place in Bluffton, South Carolina. Um, Batting cage. We got some pitching mounds outside. Uh, Our front part of the business has got some soft toss nets and um, hitting, pitching, softball, catching. Um, and then we have our travel teams uh, running out of here. So then nice. I was driving as we were talking, and I was like, "Oh man, I got a lesson in five minutes." But uh, no, it's been uh, it's been great. People down here have really taken to it. Um, I am busy from Monday all the way through Saturday afternoon, so it's been uh, true blessing. <laughs> Well, great, great luck with that. We'll make sure to uh, we'll make sure to put a link to uh, where people can get a hold of you for things like that cool. in the show notes. And awesome. uh, we really appreciate you uh, joining us for a while. And uh, please, uh, hopefully, we can talk to you again. And thank you yeah, once again. Anytime, anytime, you need to call me, just call me. Tonight